nation, and now to be a council member. So think about what it means to have elected officials who really understand uh, and come from the hip hop generation. That really is a milestone in our community and in our city and in the world. And when I ran into these guys over at Masquerade, I'd been around A3C and I saw what they were doing. I was like, okay, it's cool, good little get together. But then I saw them, I guess it was about three or four years ago at Masquerade and they had entrepreneurs. And everybody was about their business. I was like, wait a minute, it's not just a party. It's not just a conference. It's about people getting paid. I was like, whoa, wait a minute, these guys really see it. And it was a lot of people of color and well organized about business from all over the country, all over the world. I was like, wait a minute, we need to support them. And they had to leave that location. And I was like, wait a minute, y'all can't leave Atlanta, you can't leave my district, let's figure it out. And we were alongside that, we were working to revitalize the King Historic District, Edge would be in one of those. We had the conversation and we figured it out. It's been a little bumpy, but it always happens when you're trying to figure out things like this. The community has embraced them, and it's really turning out to be something outstanding for our city. This is a legacy that Atlanta has, and we have to embrace it and continue to own it. I want to bring up.